I've always been a fan of um, Marilyn Monroe's and uh, uh, Elizabeth Taylor. You know those uh, the retro vintage films. It's come from from the Bhat camp, and it is inspired by real life incidents. I love Badan Pe Sitare. Ha, it is from the seventies actually. Badan Pe Sitare. For me, uh, for to play Amna Parvez, real inspiration was Parveen Babi and Zeena Tamang. So yeah, I think yeah, both of them. Wasn't seventies <laughs> what it was? Like all these uh, drama films from Bollywood because of a villain. Don't you know, guys think that uh, the the villain actually brought out a lot in those films? Oh yeah, for sure. My hair was it used to have a separate name on the call sheet. It used to be Tahir. Nine o'clock. Tahir's hair comes at seven thirty-five because it used to take <laughs> one and a half, half hours to get it done. I used to wear like hair extensions to get it uh, to to look the the way it did. Hi guys, I'm Nenika. Welcome to Pink Villa. Hi. Hi, hi, Nenika. It's so good to you know have you guys with me here today, and we are going to talk about Ranjish Hi Sahi. We've been waiting for that show for very long, and the trailer looks very very promising. Honestly, thank you. Thank you very much. So uh, these ladies were discussing just now that the show was shot three years ago, right? Ah. So what what took the delay in you know uh, putting it out? You know, a lot of a lot of people don't realize. Uh, you think that it's because of the pandemic that only shoots stop, uh, yes. but it does affect post production as well. When offices and studios shut down, your editing, your music, um, all of it, all of it takes time. And this was a complex show to put together because when you're dealing with a, a period. Uh, drama. There are a lot of elements that go into it, and we're just really excited that it's finally out. And of course, it's a movie from. It's a show from Mahesh Bhatt's camp. So there is somewhat that that level, that idea that's already said that you know certain uh, certain drama and the inspiration that people are talking about that it's come from that particular incident of the seventies. Is it like that? I I think it's important. Um, because a lot of these who are you playing questions were thrown at me that this is not a biopic uh, i am not playing mahesh bhat um, because if i was then my look and my my entire um, wardrobe and costume would be like him uh, but you're right it's come from from the bhat camp and it is inspired by real life incidents if i had to divide it up i would say it's a 50% inspiration and 50% is a work of fiction so it's a fiction inspired by true incidents And for sure, you guys fit in completely in the characters. I mean, the looks, the hair, uh, brings back all that. You know, the drama vibe brings back all the nostalgia of seventies. Yeah. How was it yeah. for you guys on set then? It was really nice. I think for Amla, it's more of you know the seventies glam that she she was in those looks with those headbands, and I love that that poster look of hers in the song and. Um, Uh, for me, most of it was shot. I'm I'm in the house, you know. But there were a few scenes where, when I got out and I'm going to office, and I absolutely loved wearing those saris, very simple, and the blouses and those seventies style. I loved that whole that whole look. Um, and I I haven't really got to wear a sari in in any of the web series that I've done. So it's a new look for me, and it was exciting. Yeah. Um, Amrita, we've mostly seen you in a lot of glamorous kirdars, like oh, like you yes. said, sari. You haven't worn uh, much, so how was it? You know, playing um, this kind of a simple yet challenging role this time. So the thing is that I do get a lot of these um, simple kind of you know girl next door things. I don't think I've really gone full glamour with anything. So this was still still in that space where it was minimal makeup and and very simple, but. Uh, in terms of content it was very it's definitely one of the most challenging roles that i have played in my career so far in um you know there were no like chilled out you know that you say oh today is a chill day i had no chill days that's it's so well put because i felt that through the series you know you you look forward to hey today is going to be a nice light scene i don't think the series was like that like every day uh was was a psychological challenge not only for the part but also to yourself because it was also a very long schedule we were shooting back to back uh and it was shot over 3 months and it was a challenge no matter how much you do it as an actor you mm-hmm. want to not carry that emotion back home with you but very often on this set i found myself like going back home with a slight like l- lump in my throat and sort of not in my heart because of the kind of scenes that we had we had done 
Right. Well, so I, think, you, I carried it throughout the pandemic. <laughs> oh wow, that's a heavy thing. That's a heavy thing to carry. Yeah. And I think even though there were light scenes, our director Pushpadeep used to make it uh, complicated and complex. <laughs> So he's that kind of guy, you know, he's like intense. Everything is intense. Yeah, like but uh, a, lo- a lot of the credit has to go to him, though. This is his debut on the OTT space. He's a very young director, and it was a great contrast because Bhatsab comes with so much experience, and he's an institution. Right. And uh, Pushpadeep came with like new age ideas of technology and how to make it it engaging for a young OTT audience. and a lot of the look and feel of the show is because of uh, pushpadeep's ideas yeah right he's paid me a lot to say this guys <laughs> <laughs> i think he deserve it yeah so the idea itself is so fancy and so nice and you know it's going to be uh, bringing a lot of nostalgia to the audience so uh, i want to ask each of you how was your take when you saw the script and what went into your head you know while reading it while saying yes to the story on the sets so more than the script it was uh, pushpadeep's narration that brought the whole story to life and i was like he's so passionate um you know it made you want to be a part of it this is the first time i'm hearing that he did it with all three of us then yeah. what would he be able to do for the film on set and really it's that passion that made me take the take the decision and so yeah. um Yeah, for me also, one of the uh, most pulling factor towards the story was Pushpadeep. I remember, uh, I mean, like in the trailer that uh, I tell Tahir, you know, um, story is uh, okay, but it's not ang. I've never seen, you know, it was that moment for me. Like story was great, and there was so much fire. Uh, the way in which Pushpadeep was narrating the story and the character, it's 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 like a dream role for any um, you know actor uh, to play such a role. And um, I've always been a fan of um, Marlon Monroe's and uh, uh, Elizabeth Taylor. You know those uh, the retro vintage films. and to uh, i think only in only in films you get to play uh, you can travel back into that era and you can play those roles coming back to you tahir uh, you have been praised a lot on the big screen and now we know you have a lot of ott releases lined up so how does it feel for you have you know 2022 is going to be a great year yeah absolutely i couldn't have asked for a better opening i'm co- i'm calling it like a bumper festival opening to 2022 i have never although i've i've been a part of a lot of features i have never been part of a romantic drama genre before i've always played these these sort of larger than life uh, characters but never opposite a co-actress and it's great for me that 2022 is opening with not one but two romances with uh, amla and amrita and uh, you know in hindi they say wo dene wala jab deta hai to chappad phad ke deta hai and that's really what what has happened and so it's it's super and yes you're right besides ranjish there are two other projects coincidentally also romantic dramas and it's just and you know it seems like it's all coming back to back but the situation is the same as with ranjish i've been shooting these projects for the past 2 years there have been delays on all of the projects because of the pandemic and now the timing is such that they're all coming together which for an artist is amazing all right so that was a lot about ranjish he sahi now we want to quickly jump into a nice 70s quiz we'll call it the 70s bollywood quiz and oh i'm uh, very good at uh, i know already <laughs> I am born in the 90s. I had to research so much, you know, asking. Yeah, even I'm born in the 90s. <laughs> so, really, Amrita, I always think I just assumed you're 65. <laughs> yeah. If you guys give the right answers, the wrong answers, I surely would not be able to verify. So that's just jumping. Great, that's awesome. All right. Okay. So uh, we'll ask. I'll ask some question, and I would expect one by one you guys to answer. So, um, what is your dream '70s character, and why? For me, it would be like a a, a '70s gangster, uh, just purely because I I love the fashion of that time, and just the idea of wearing like like big sunglasses and like and a, and a white safari suit would be would be really cool. but he would also have to have an aspect of bollywood and romance in him so a 70s romantic gangster would be my answer sounds fancy you put in everything <laughs> gangster yeah. romance <laughs> those those bell bottom pants and yeah, that's exactly. that flimsy hair yes <laughs> what about you amrita i think i really enjoyed watching everything that jaya bachchan did in a in a certain period so um 
I would uh, love to do that. I don't know when when Shule released, but I would love to have played Basanti. You know. I don't think Shole is a 70s release. Is I it? Don't know. No, sir, Shole is definitely 80s. Yeah, yeah. So it's like five years here and there. <laughs> yeah. All right, we'll take it. Amla, what about you? I would stick to playing a diva. Ah, like you are. Yeah, you've you got play. you've got like I mean the the best in the 70s. So yes, yes, yes. Oh, I, I'm, I, cool. I'm addicted to that. Yeah, I love to playing a diva like a um, uh, like a superstar. So I think uh, I would like to try it a couple of more times. So I'll stick to that. Okay. Anybody you look up to? Any particular actress? A lot of them. I think uh, for me, uh, for to play Amna Parvey's real inspiration was Parveen Babi and Zena Taman. So yeah, I think yeah, both of them. Right. Awesome. Okay. Your dream seventies <laughs> crush. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. I just I'd like to add in Smita Patel. I loved her in Mirch Masala. I don't know when that was released though, but I remember seeing that. As a reference, once to um, one of the projects I was doing, and I was completely, you know. Yeah, she's a fabulous actress. Brilliant. Yeah. Right. So, next question is your dream seventies crush, and why? Or maybe a guy. I would, I would say it purely because of his his style. And it's not a crush; it's an admirer, like someone I would look up to at the time was yeah. was Dev Anand, uh, because he just was a trend, such a big trendsetter uh, yeah. back in the day. Absolutely. What about the ladies? Yeah, Devanand. I love. I watched Guide, and I I remember like I loved loved him. Yeah, that was the first time I saw him, and yeah, Devanand. Amrita is still thinking. I don't think. I don't think, guys. Okay. So, this is when um, you can tell it's been three years uh, since the show was shot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Any uh, any favorite song from the seventies or eighties? As much as you guys can remember. I don't, I don't know timelines, but I love Badan Pe Sitare. Ha! It is from the seventies actually. Badan Pe Sitare. I like that. What about uh, what about Oh Hasina Zulfo Wali? Is Even that is because it was Oh Hasina Zulfo Wali. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I really love that. I think I like all the songs from Guide. Okay, which are? Na 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 na. I forgot the lyrics, but. Ah yeah yeah, but I got that even from the tune I understood. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, w- which villain uh, would you like to kill from the seventies if you you know go back in a timeline? A Robert guy who kept saying Robert, Robert. <laughs> you know who I'm talking about? He'd be like yes. Robert. Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. I need to look this up. So yeah. Crazy person. I'm all yeah. for peace. <laughs> That's a great answer. We wouldn't want to kill anyone. We would want them to evolve and yeah. grow into loving people. Yes. Yeah. What did she say? Yeah. She said, "I'm about peace." <laughs> Our hippie at heart. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't seventies what it was like all these drama films from Bollywood because of a villain. Don't you guys think that uh, the the villain actually brought out a lot in those films? Oh yeah, for sure. For sure. Yeah. I mean, they were so. Uh, when we look at them now, we feel like they were like a little over the top. But back in the day, like they were legends. Like they were yeah. as by only seventies. I think right through the eighties as well um, hmm. and early nineties. Like Mukambo, Gabbar, they were iconic. All of them. Right. Okay, so let's quickly wrap up the interview, and I would like to ask you guys about your hair. So, um, uh, um, uh, Amla and uh, Tahir, we've seen like fancy hairstyles and everything happening yes. uh, in the show. How was your experience with that? Tahir, talk to us about hair. <laughs> yeah, for for me it was crazy because my, my hair was it used to have a separate name on the call sheet. It used to be Tahir. Nine o'clock. Tahir's hair comes at seven thirty-five because it used to take <laughs> one and a half, half hours to get it done. I used to wear like hair extensions to get it uh, to to look the the way it did. But it was also so critical because it's so uh, definitive of that period and it makes such a difference. Um, right. Just just your simple simple hairstyle. I also had to gain a little weight for the part because I was playing a slightly older and Pushpadeep was very clear. He wanted him to look uh, have a certain walk and feel uh, to it. And both of those put together, I remember when I used to look in the mirror, I used to feel like I was looking at Shankar. And I think as an actor, that's a really good thing. 
Absolutely. Absolutely. So for me, um, I got these bangs done at that time. You know that it was that style, right? Like that mm. hair till short bangs till your jawline, and I still have it. I think I have not. <laughs> it's, really? like, it's not carried with me, and uh, yeah, the makeup was really glamorous, and the costumes were really glamorous. I remember uh, we had a look test photo shoot, and I'm like, oh my god, this is like living my dream. uh and and it was so easy i just had to get into my look my my costumes and my hair and makeup and there ramna parvez was there so it it really really helped um uh with the performance and the character um yeah it was like a dream come true awesome i would buy you amrita i wasn't even allowed to wear liner most of the time so uh, oh, there was nothing much happening at my end because i was pretty much at home um there were uh, extensions but that's about it for hair length all right but all in all the appearances looks fan uh, look fancy the costumes look amazing and i think um, acting is the one uh, which is the cherry on top all of you have done some wonderful work and we're so thank excited you. for ranjish sahib thank, thank you thank you so much reena thank you bye bye <laughs>